Football, lingerie, and very attractive women. Hmm. A fantasy that every man has probably had at least once has now become a reality with the Lingerie Football League's latest addition, the Las Vegas Sin. They are part of a 12-team all-women's football league, and just because they are women doesn't mean the action is any less intense. On the left side, Laura Peterson with it. Makes a little cut back. Moving on and she gets stuck. What makes these players unique is the fact that they play multiple positions on both sides of the ball. I play running back and cornerback. I'm a wide receiver, free safety, on the line sometimes. I'm basically anywhere on, on the field. Each player has their own unique story on how they became a member of the Sin. Um, I've actually been playing football for a really long time. Uh, I played under Dion Lee, the head coach, before. Um, he just basically gave me a call and said, hey, we need somebody to uh, come out and quarterback this team. Well, I actually had a friend that was a dancer. I'm a professional dancer, and she was out here doing it the first go around when they tried out back in August, and she told me about it, so I came out and tried out. And just because they're jocks, don't think these ladies are one-trick ponies. I'm doing school. I work part-time for the county. I'm a mother. Um, I work. Um, a couple jobs at this point. Um, I go to school still, even though I've gotten my degree at USC. And as far as men's reactions? They think it's dope. They love it. They think it's sexy. They're like full tackle, like you wear pads and you like wear a helmet. And I'm like, yeah, we tackle just like the men do. Coach Lee doesn't see many differences between the men and women. These girls are beastie. They hungry. They want to learn. We never get off the field because they want to learn. Unlike doing semi-pro, the guys think they know everything, where well, the women are just like sponges, they're just soaking it up. The Sin won their opening game against the Chicago Bliss on September 2nd, 32-20. to Their home opener is November 11th at the Orleans Arena. Reporting for Studio G News. <laughs> He's there, Cuomo. Hey, if you're not in the play, you need to sit on the 